Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Sorrow Leaves When Joy is Born. And our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 16, where Jesus is preparing his disciples for what's to come. In a little while, you won't see me anymore, but a little while after that, you'll see me again. Some of the disciples asked each other, what does he mean when he says in a little while, you won't see me, but then you'll see me, and I'm going to the Father. And what does he mean by a little while? We don't understand. Jesus realized they wanted to ask him about it, so he said, are you asking yourselves what I meant? I said, in a little while you won't see me, but a little while after that you will see me again. I tell you the truth, you will weep and mourn over what's going to happen to me, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will suddenly turn to wonderful joy. It'll be like the woman suffering the pains of labor. When her child is born, her anguish gives way to joy because she's brought a new baby into the world. So you have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. I have never given birth to a child. <laughs> Not exactly a news flash there, but I've been there when it happened. We've shared previously on Rocky Road how I missed the birth of our first two children because dads weren't allowed in the delivery room back then. But I was there for the third, and pain giving way to overwhelming joy is unmistakable. Jesus described the pain as anguish, and he called the new life joy. And it's because of the nurturing gene surging through every part of the mother's body. Call it hormones and chemistry if you must, but the desire to procreate and preserve is hardwired into the process by the master creator. I watched a video on YouTube recently of a cat who adopts baby ducklings. It was bizarre to see a feline accepting orphaned baby ducks as part of her new litter. Cats normally don't become caretakers for birds. They eat birds. But this mama cat had just given birth and couldn't help herself. Even months later, the bond between mother feline and grown ducks displayed what God built into his creation. We are born to hold life up, even when it goes against our nature to self-preserve and promote. There's too much joy beyond the anguish to resist. Now, apply that to Jesus' disciples in the upper room when he told them the passion was about to begin and the pain would be unbearable for them. But like the passing of labor that gives way to a newborn baby, pain would transform into great joy. Jesus had told Nicodemus if he ever wanted to see the kingdom of God, he would have to be born again. That reference has lasted two millennia because of the joy that untold millions have experienced in the passing of sorrow's pain when a sinner's confession transports him into the joyful presence of love unbounded. Words are totally inadequate at this point. Simply look at the faces of a newborn child with the one who gave him free room and board for nine months. Sorrow leaves when joy is born. For you today, Jesus said that no one would be able to rob his disciples of the joy he had planned for them. He meant it, and it happened, and he meant it for us too. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.